Hello, Grade Five. Today we are going to practice the vocabulary of Lesson Twenty One. Today is seventeen of May, two thousand and twenty. Let's have our ten words. The first word is shovel. Shuffle, guys. It's walked without lifting your feet high or letting them drag. It means that you feel that it's really hard to move, so you cannot move normally as others because of sickness or because a person is old. Like this person, he's an old man, so he is shuffling. Shuffling, it means that he has very hard steps because he is sick or because he is old. So, shuffle the game, walk without lifting your feet high, letting them drag. Let's move to number two. The word evident. Evident, it means very easy to see or something in front of you is obvious. So, evident, very easy to see or something obvious. For example, the data here is obvious on the screen because he's showing them. So here, the, the data is evident for them. Okay, so everybody can see it as in the picture. Number three, the verb seep. Seep, guys, it's to gradually soak, throw, or to ooze. Like the water here started to Seep. It means to go through everywhere. Okay, so see means to gradually soak through or to ooze. Number four, vain. Something that has no chance of success. Here, this man, he's a runner and he didn't win the race. Okay, so he felt vain. He felt vain that he has no chance of success. And then the word salvation. Salvation, guys, a thing that saves a person. Like eating food in the desert is kind of salvation. So, salvation it's having food, drinking water in the desert. Okay? So, anything that can make a person survive or save the person, we call it salvation. And then the adverb, undoubtedly, from the word undoubt. So, undoubtedly, it means never questioned or beyond doubt or debate. So, you cannot ask ab about it because we know that it's quite clear for us. For example, if we say 2 plus 2, 4, undoubtedly we know the answer, okay? Let's move to number 7, the word factor. Factor, guys, it's a part of a plan that should have a result. So, factor, it means a part or important part in doing something, like to have a successful project you have to have a very important factor which is teamwork so teamwork is the main factor for having a successful job or project then number eight if you are traveling okay in the morning and while you are moving on the road with the car or with the bus you can find in front of you a little bit far something like water but if you are getting nearer and nearer you cannot see any water actually this is an optical illusion and we call it mirages okay mirages is optical illusion of things that look real but really aren't there like this here you feel like there's water liquid silver but if you get nearer and nearer you cannot see anything okay so this is mirages. And then let's move to number nine, pace. 
pace is the speed or the rate at which you were doing something pace it means the, the speed of doing something or the rate at which you are doing something okay so like this boy he is running so we want to know his speed or his pace then let's move to number 10 stunted stunted it means too short or not properly developed so he is not tall enough okay so too short or not properly developed so this child is really stunted okay so too short like that we have finished our 10 vocabulary words of 21 thank you and study hard and do your best goodbye